How's it going YouTube? Jalen here bringing you another YouTube video. Today I'm bringing you an MLG respawn class setup. Alright, let's get right into it. I have many, many, many respawn classes. Alright guys, I will make another video to this on my search and destroy classes or SMD classes, however you would like to say that. But first off, we're going to start off with respawn. My favorite types of game mode. Respawns are hardpoint uplink and CTF. Scratch CTF, that's not in the rotation anymore. Double hardpoints. And an uplink. Really excited when that starts. It's going to be freaking sweet. Alright, so let's get right into this. So, this is, you know, this is just a regular stun class. Just the usual perks. Lightweight, fast hands, toughness, blast suppressor. And on my ASM, ASM1, whatever you would like to pronounce that. Bleh, whatever. Alright, you run the same exact thing. You know, you run forecraft, advanced rifling, and quick draw. You always run that. Or you could switch to laser and run gung-ho, maybe. I used to run laser without gung-ho. Laser, great attachment. But, I don't know, I was just having more success with the quick draw instead of a uh, laser. I don't know, you can just pre-aim these corners with quick draw and... You, I don't know, you'd have to pre-aim every corner with um, with laser, but with quick draw, you know, you scope in so fast you don't really have to pre-aim as much. Alright, but this is my regular stun class. Look at all my names, look at all my classes, a lot of classes, alright guys? So here's my regular stun, you know, just lightweight, fast hands, toughness, blast suppressor, overclock, double stun. Then, this is a class, this is probably my favorite class that I have, hardwired stuns, same exact ASM1, you know, lightweight fast hands, toughness, and then I have hardwired on. Hardwired, it blocks stuns, like you don't flinch, or you don't get the white screen, and then I have overclock and double stuns, it's just, it's a great class. I love hardwired, it's so overpowered, it's insane. Alright, there's my flak jacket syntax. Instead of having lightweight, I'm running uh, flak jacket, regular ASM1, like I said, and then you got flak jacket, fast stance, toughness, blast suppressor, overclock, and double syntaxes. You could run any other thing. You could you could run stuns, you could run frags, but I prefer to run syntaxes, and then I have regular syntax class. This is a version of the flak jacket syntax class, but no flak jacket. I switched out for lightweight. This is, this class is just for when you're getting naded really bad. They're just, all they do is chuck nades at you. And this class, like the hardwire stunts, is just when they're stunning you the whole time. You know, this is a really good class when they're nading you, obviously. Even in, this is a, S, this is a good S&D class, all right? Then, this is overclock, I mean, this is overcharged overclock class. Regular ASM1, and I threw on the perk one gunfighter, perk one greed, I mean, my bad. Alright, so I have lightweight and overcharge, fast hands, toughness, blast suppressor, overclock, and I don't run any exo launchers, not a single exo launcher, and I mean, it's kind of a disadvantage, but this is a really good uplink class, running the ball, great class. It's a great flipping class, guys. Alright, so let's go to the next page. We got my trophy with stuns, okay? Regular ASM1. Now I have my lightweight, fast hands, toughness, blast suppressor. You know, you could switch it out for hardwired. You know, that could work too, but you don't really need hardwire when you have trophy because it just doesn't make sense. Trophy is blocking stuns, grenades, any projectile coming at you, and you know, there's just no point. I think trophy actually blocks like two or three projectiles, so I guess hardwire could work. Same thing with flak jacket, but I run trophy with stuns, or I have a trophy with syntax. Same as that class as my trophy with stuns, except for I trade the stuns for syntaxes. Same exact thing, nothing different. Alright, so let's go ahead and head into my bow classes. Let me take a sip of water because I haven't stopped talking this whole entire time. Ugh, okay, guys. Essentially, it's bow. First one, it's like my favorite bow class. I don't use the bow a lot. I rarely use the bow. I might use an SD from time to time. But, this uh, with the bow, you always want to run grip, quick draw, stock. That is the same, same exact thing for every single bow. You could switch like the stock out for uh, red dot, but red dot, it has a lot of recoil. It's just, you don't want to use red dot. You don't get as good bullet reg registration. You don't want to use it, guys. Same as that perks, lightweight, fast, and toughest, blast suppressor. I have my overclock because these are my respawn classes, and then I have double syntaxes. All right, so this is my bow with stuns, except for I have hardwired on this. Like I said, I don't use the bow a lot, but same as like bow, full grip, quick draw, stock, lightweight, fast hands, toughness, and instead of blast presser, I have hardwired, alright guys? Like I said earlier, hardwired block stun, it it gets to the point to where you don't get the white screen or you don't flinch when you get hit with the stun, alright, and I have a hardwired and double stuns, I really like stuns, I've been using them a lot lately, not many people are using hardwired when it's so overpowered, I don't understand. 
So this is my bow with flak jacket. And instead of, oh, whoopsies. Uh, you know, most people, you can run lightweight, you can run flak jacket. When you, cause uh, with bows, you know, you're in anchor position. You like come back up, like you're just gonna sit in glass or top blue or something like that. And people are just gonna chuck stuns and nades at you. That's why flak jacket's there, guys. So you don't die from getting hit with a nade. You get hit with a nade, it's at your feet. Bam, blows up, you're not dead. Same thing with this hardwired class. You're sitting top blue or in glass, get hit with the sun, bam, you're not flashed at all. It's just great. These two things work really flipping well, guys. All right, let's go to this next page. No, I do not use my IMRs that much. I really don't. I just don't use them a lot. They're just, they're not my favorite gun to use. I'm not a fag. Sorry, I didn't mean to use like bad words, something like that. But, you know, this just, it, this is what queers use. These are the queer classes, these IMRs, these shotguns. I don't think I have a uh, shotgun class, but, you know, the IMRs really are kind of gay. I would admit that, but, so that's why I only have two of them. Alright, so, with the IMR, you, you always want to run Red Dot Stock Quick Draw. You could trade the Red Dot, if you like the Iron Sights that much, you could trade out for Grip. Grip is kind of useless in my opinion. You could trade out for maybe Extended Mag too. Um, I, I I could really see Extended Mag because this thing, the ammo runs out really quick. I think, how, what kind of burst is this? this is, uh, four round burst, I think it holds 35 bullets. You know, so that's about eight bursts, about eight bursts, you know, almost nine bursts. And it runs out of ammo kind of quick because the fire rate is really quick. You're just sitting, sitting there spamming it. It's going brr, 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 brr. You could trade that red dot for Extended Mag if you like the iron sights. But, I mean, I just might use this when I get to host, I really get to host, I might just have some fun. If I'm in the, you know, trolly moly mood, I will pull this gun out, you know? I'll just feel like, I'm a trolly moly, I live under a bridge, I'm a troll, you know? And I'll pull out the IMR. But, I have lightweight, fast sense, toughness, blast suppressor, normal perks, you know, nothing too special. And then, you know, not, like I said, nothing too special, overclock and double sim Texas, my little simmies, my little simmies! Alright, so then it's the same set class except for I have stuns on this one. You know, you always want to have a Simtex and a stun class. Or you can trade the Simtex out for frags, obviously. You know, uh, I, I don't know, I just don't like holding the frags that much. But, and then Simtex is you stick them to the ground. Or just throw them inside, like a, let's say a Detroit hardpoint. Throw it inside box, bam, it clears out the hill. Unless they're running flak jacket, obviously. But Simtex is they just blow up a lot quicker than frags. Well, unless you cook the frag until it's like a second left on it. But this is the same as that class, the IMR with Simtexes, except for I trade the Simtex out for stunts, you know, normal thing with the IMR, red dot, stock, quick draw, and then I have lightweight, fast stance, toughness, blast suppressor, overclock, double stuns, primary gunfighter, perk 3 greed. Bam! Those are all my respawn class. I have two and a, about two and a half pages, almost two and a half pages, I mean three and a half pages of respawn classes. I, you know, I am a sub player. I love the ASM1. It's just my favorite gun to use. I'm, I have really good accuracy with it. My shot is pretty well. I hate, I don't mean to boast, but I, I'm pretty good with ASM1, guys. <laughs> and it's just my favorite gun to use. That's why I only have, how many ARs do I have? I have five AR classes. I don't use, how many do I have ASMs? Do I have two plus, that was that five? Yep, I have seven classes with the ASM. I mostly use this hardwired. I switch to the flak every now and then. Flak jacket. It's really great. This is and this was amazing for CTF. This overcharged overclock. You just had that so long sprint time. You could sprint for like 25 minutes, guys. Like you were literally. I don't even know. I was gonna say Hussein Bolt or something like that. But I don't even know, guys. You were fast. You were like the African American guy who won the Olympics. The sprint thing. Like jeez, Louise, guys. You were so fast. You were so fast. You were literally. Freaking Flash Jr. I don't even know. Stupid scuff cable. My stupid scuff cable keeps doing it and it's quite annoying. But we're gonna try to plug this bad boy back in, guys. Watch this. Oh, I can't even get it. Oh, we got it back in. We got it back in. Come on, throw on controller. There we go. Come on, please reconnect. Uh okay, there we go. There we go, guys. Look at my awesome character. Here's a full view of him. Uh, you know, he looks pretty nice. I don't like the pants too much. You know, we're gonna switch the character up. We've had this guy for like two or three weeks. We're gonna switch to this guy you know what no we're not no we're not no we're not we're gonna switch to we're gonna switch to this guy actually we're gonna keep him look how much of a b a bad a s s he looks pretty flipping baller guys but if you guys did enjoy this video leave a like subscribe follow my social media links are in the description below it's been jalen guys peace out everybody